Okay, we're here behind uh, another HVAC company that did this work. A couple of units installed here. And uh, not the worst, but you do see this. You know, I'm not, not sure how to explain that. Looks like, looks like they've got a, a joint right here. That's, you know, you can't really explain that. Um, the other one here, of course, has got joints in the low voltage to it. You can also see the jacket gone from the weather. When we do this on a commercial job, we generally put the low voltage inside of some flexible conduit protection um, for weed eating and so forth to go on out here. The other thing they did, they brought both flue pipes out here, one on top of the other. Uh, just doesn't seem like a good idea. Looking at that, at first glance, you would think that's a fresh air intake on the bottom and an exhaust on the top, but actually it's not. That's two furnaces in the mechanical room, and that's their termination. So we're going to correct all these things. So let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so what they have in their sanctuary and mechanical room on each side. So that side has a couple of furnaces. The ones in question feed those vents down that side. From that side, there's a mechanical room over here. You see the thermostat and the intake. Um, and there's the vents that feeds down that side. So let's take a look at the furnaces. Um, right off the bat, we noticed moisture right there. So obviously one of these fittings are not glued correctly. And as we can see, they both go out the wall right on top of each other. I think I just found a drop of water right there. Yep. And if you look at the angle, there's no way possible this pipe can be sealed. Um, you can just see the tilt on this pipe going into this fitting. So that's really sloppy. And this one has a nice filter. So we'll give them that. They did, did one, one good thing. They did put a nice filter. Over here, they did not. As we can see, we have got a five ton coil. And we have got, let me get this out. We've got a 18 by 24 by two filter. And we all know five tons ain't going through that. And they wrote it down right there. Look more like a 16 by 20 to me, but I'll take their word. And then, if you look, you had room here, and you had plenty of room down here. Really, this furnace could be about four inches to the left, and we could fit the nice filter cabinet right there, just like the other one. Here's the real icing off the cake. Take a look at that. Watch me move this pipe. This is where they should have a coupling. And they have wrapped it with a piece of mastic tape. If that don't beat all you ever seen, I don't know what does. So let's take a look in the other side and see what we need to do over there. Okay, so on this side, obviously, the one in question is going to be feeding this side of the sanctuary. That is actually an underground duct. Okay, on the other side, we go straight through the wall like you saw with that filter. This one is down in the concrete. So I'll go in here and open that up and we'll see. Uh, that. 
that filter, you wouldn't believe how it was in there. So anyway, this duct and you can see that's underground. Okay. So you can see that's the return duct. So it's always going to be full of moisture and whatnot. It's always going to be really nasty. So we need to get a filter cabinet in here somewhere. They just simply had this filter laid in here. Hard to do with one hand. So, like that. So obviously you know what's going to happen when the blower comes on. This is just raises up. You know, all the dirt goes right around it. So we're going to need to straighten that out. Here's another problem. Single wall dryer pipe. Here's our big double wall flue that we feed out of. Here's a double wall fitting that we should connect to. And hopefully we can straighten that out and use it without having to replace this. But this single wall that is definitely a no-no. Building code standards, safety, etc. In no way, shape, form, or fashion should they have done that. In a church, too, to boot. So, let's get them a quote together to straighten all this out. And the only thing really we have to do to this other furnace is there's the single wall dryer pipe. Look at that, he's barely even inside. Just barely even, that, that, that pipe, he's barely got a bite on it. He's barely got his crimp slid in here. So, not only is it unsafe, but it's halfway installed. And there we have a nice filter cabinet. So we're gonna to try to achieve this on the other two, straighten out all of these flue pipes and make this thing safe. And uh, let these people get this page turned in their, in their church and have a beautiful pipe organ. That's really neat.